So our mission really is to reduce flooding. We produce the source data which engineers use to evaluate the capacity of a river, the capacity of a floodplain, and to see whether it's going to flood or not. We can do like full 3D point clouds of rivers and it really explores the bottom of a river, the river bed, stuff you can't see. From that information, engineers or geomorphologists can assess the habitat as it is then and they can look at ways of improving the habitat. What we need to do is concentrate on our rivers first and get those right, get those clean, get them a brilliant habitat and then what happens is nature will move in. We like to make sure that all our surveyors that go on site and do the measurements also process those measurements in the office so that split in time is about 50 50. so it's a great job if you like the outdoors but also a good job if you like a bit of office work as well we've got a, a chap that's done a couple of years a bit like me left school did some work for a design company, decided he wanted to work outside, so he's come to us. He just seemed the ideal person to put on a degree apprenticeship. The geospatial apprenticeship is uh, quite different, actually. The two venues offer quite two quite different courses, and we took one that was more diversified, really, and a little bit away from just measuring stuff the whole time, which is what we do. It might give Josh, who's the lad's name, inspiration to perhaps look elsewhere in related markets. There are so many very talented people at the age of 16 that perhaps get missed. The, the options to move on to the next level don't really suit them. If you're 14, 15, even 16 years old, um, I think to show an interest in water-based stuff doesn't necessarily have to be work. It could be sport, like canoeing, surfing, stuff like that. That's going to show on your CV that you're water hardy if you like and probably trained in some way. We're looking for the person, not the qualifications really. When you come in to work for us, we give you that, uh, that, that set of competencies and as you achieve each competency, we assess that you're confident in doing that uh, and we can sign it off within our own business. And that is all fed back to the Chartered Institute of Civil Engineering Surveyors. So it's a way of getting letters after your name without going to university. We offer it to people that come into the business and we say, do you want to do it? Off they go, you know, and then some, some people want to take longer than others over it. It's, there's, no, there's no pressure. It's basically a, a very interesting, uh, worthwhile career to get into. You've got all the gadgetry, technology. It's not all about the high level mathematics anymore. You know, it's using high tech equipment, whether it's in the sky, on the ground or underwater. So it's a really exciting, challenging, problem solving. There's plenty there for young people to get interested about. If anybody out there likes gaming and is into gaming, it's heading down sort of the augmented reality, um, virtual reality routes. You've got a building like this and you want to put in a new um, air conditioning system. You can have the system designed and then you've got a headset on and you can see where it would look in reality. So I'm a brand am ambassador for Get Kids Into Survey and it's basically to raise awareness of, of the industry throughout the world skill shortage within this country but in other parts of the world, especially America, uh, it's, it's much worse than, than, than here. You know, it used to be all about STEM, um, science, technology, engineering, maths. Um, now they're bringing in art, it needs to be part of that, you need an artistic point of view for design and engineering. I suppose as we evolve and we gather more operational staff, the surveyors and their trainees, um, we need the support staff around us. We may well need to take on a marketing assistant in the future that's got relevant experience and somebody that's been perhaps in that role for 12 months to 18 months. It's certainly contributing to um, the environmental improvement of the UK and perhaps beyond. It's a really great team that we have here and that's, that's been created organically really through just the right people in the right positions so it's a really nice environment to work in and, and, and is fun. So I spend half my time out on site doing site work and half my time in the office processing all the data we collect. When we're going out on site I get a lot of information from the client so specifications which we need to go through. We have carry tripods around which we put the total station on. The total station uh, is put on the top of the tripod it's then levelled the surveyor then goes off with the GPS and the GPS is used to position that total station so the total station knows distance and angles but it doesn't know where whereabouts in the UK it is. I have to go off and take some points on the GPS and using trigonometry. You take the two GPS points, the total station knows where those two GPS points is in the UK or wherever it is and then when you start surveying with the prism and the pole we'll know exactly what the height, eastings and northings are of every point that you've taken and that can define the profile of the river. I found Storm Geomatics through Twitter, did an interview, got the job. 
and I started as a trainee surveyor. When it's you know summertime, you go to site and your work is basically just a pristine river. Put your waders on and measure this lovely area. So that's what I really enjoy about the job. So you don't really need a degree to start working at the company. You can learn whilst on the job, but it's good to just have the background knowledge of what the company's doing and why they're doing it. So day to day when we're on site, I will help the surveyor that's in charge of the job. Similarly, I will help process data, sort out sort of photographic reports of sites. So I did um, environmental earth sciences as my degree, so mostly physical geography, but it was very much kind of related material, um, which has helped me to understand how this job works and why we do what we do. I didn't have any specific experience for this job, um, but I used to be a lifeguard, so I managed to gain experience in other jobs that I've had that are then transferable to this job. So obviously being a lifeguard, I was quite, I was trained in kind of water safety and first aid, things that are quite crucial to what we do. So those, getting those skills from other places made it easier for me to transfer into this job role. So I think I would struggle to have a full-time office job. So being able to go out on site and, like Tom said, go to really nice places all over the UK, I quite enjoy that aspect of it. Um, but at the same time, I do enjoy being able to sit down and actually take the data that we went out and collected and see the kind of end product. I didn't have any specific experience for this job, but I'd say to just do as many things that you enjoy as you can and just to take as much as you can from those and those skills will enable you to start getting jobs in areas that you want to explore and then you can build from there and that's exactly what I did.